On this week's episode of Facts of Fishing, Dave hooks up with Brian Schramm and proves that maybe musky are the fish of 10,000 casts. When you think of musky fishing, you think of a lot of things. One thing you don't think of is that right there, snow. Dude, this is about as bad as it gets out here. I mean, it's just absolute mud. Fish, that's a good one. Oh, oh no. I'm Dave Mercer, pro angler and all round fishing big mouth. Today, I've got one day on one body of water and I am surrounded by cameras. Unfortunately for me, but fortunately for you, they're gonna show you everything that happens. And I mean everything. Son of a- Welcome to Facts of Fishing, the show. Brought to you by Subway, eat fresh. Shimano, technology you can feel. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Live Target Lures and Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Without further ado, here he is. I can't say this. Just read the script. The world's greatest angler, Dave Mercer. All right, so guess what we're doing this week? No, we're not going ice fishing. We're going musky fishing, and this, this was not the plan. I mean, you think of musky fishing, you think of a lot of things. One thing you don't think of is that right there, snow. We heard the fish were biting, so what do we do? We got in the truck, packed the boat up, and headed here. We forgot to do one thing, and that was check the forecast. So we have two choices. Choice number one, go home, get under a blankie, and lay in the field position. I voted for that, but the crew said we have to stay and shoot. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. You wanna try? <laughs> I'm not even joking, I'm serious. Yeah, I'll try. We're alone today. What do you mean? There was a lot of boats yesterday? Oh yeah. There's been, you know, seven to ten boats a day. Well, I think it's just everyone thinks the weather's the wind. Yep. The, it's a holiday in the States though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm surprised. There'd be people there's people off, you know, off work. They should be out fishing, but that's you said it. Everyone because of the high winds, everyone thinks this stuff is just mudded up. It is pretty dirty though. Oh, this it's got some green to it though, you know what I mean? Dirty is brown. You can see the bottom of the trolling motor. If you can see the bottom of the trolling motor, you can catch fish. Now why are these fish are in here, buddy? Well, they come from the lake and they follow the shad. The shad come in here by the hundreds of thousands to spawn because of the warmer water. And uh, obviously, gizzard shad is on the diet of a muskie and they just follow them in and uh, stack up on the edges of the channel here. And they stack up in, you know, it would just stagger you how many fish come up in here. And do they stay here for the whole winter? Uh, they don't stay for the whole winter. I imagine some do, but they stay for a better part of it. And uh, other fish will kind of paddle back out to the lake. But one thing we do know is this time of year, they come into these channel mouths and stack up chasing the shad. See, this is what a lot of guys won't, won't do. Here, Dave, they won't go in and jig real shallow. And when it's real clear water, I won't do it either. But when you've got stained water, you can go up into eight foot of water and jig. Because sometimes it's about the presentation. Sometimes they want it straight down. Yeah. And you can't get that from casting. So when the water's a little dingy, you can go right up on top of them and give them that vertical presentation. Yeah. You'd be proud of me. I've, I've worked on my cussing, and uh, I don't cuss as much. We'll see. Fish! That's a good one. Ooh, that's a big head shake there. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh! That was a nice one. Did you see him? I did. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. It wasn't good, dude. <laughs> Not good with me losing. Uh, whoa! Whoa! What happened? To, I'm working on my cuss and I don't cuss anymore. Like three seconds ago, you told me. Sorry. Damn it, that was a good one. Son of a. 
Man, he smashed it too, dude. Smashed it, I don't know how he got off. Just, gosh dang did he hammer it. Holy cow. I'm gonna hook like a 60 incher here. <laughs> and I'm gonna have two feet to fight it in. That's yeah, kinda cool. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna go back out. Where are we going? You need to go back out. Yeah, let's do that. There he is. Oh, hooked up. Shrimp. I think you got a bite, buddy. I think I did. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. He swallowed it, too. Dude, dude, dude. Let me get the net. Boy, he just hammered that. Oh yeah, that's a good one. This net is bigger than most of the fish I catch. <laughs> Look at how he got that, dude. Ate it. Absolutely crushed it. Is he ready for Yep, me? he's ready. Right in. Wow. Bang! Nice work, Trent. Yeah, that's a good start. Dude! <laughs> All right, there he is, man. Nice fish. St. Clair fatty, late fall fatty. Just crushed it, man. T-bone the thing. Could barely see the lure. So I guess we'll get her back in. This time of year it's kind of cool. You can just kind of let them go and they go off willingly. You don't really have to spend much time with them because of cold water. So she should just be right ready and ready to swim away. Look at that. Gone. Woo. Closed captioning for Facts of Fishing, the show, has been provided by Boat Smart Connect the all-new boating app for iPhone and Android. Tomorrow's gonna be freezing cold, but without a cloud in the sky. I don't like this wind. It's cold. Seems like it's getting better, doesn't it? Where? Are you serious? No. <laughs> Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Oh, jeez. She's gone away so I actually like that song, but maybe not now. Anytime she goes away, away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. I was kind of hoping that last night when I slept that this was all a dream and it wasn't really happening. But I woke up and found out it's a nightmare. We're going fishing in the snow. If I can get this unfrozen. When the weather outside is frightful, but the world is so delightful, and the forecast never called for snow, we must go, we must go, we must go. The best part about this whole situation is watching people look at me like I'm insane. Not, not that that's anything new, but definitely maybe a, a little bit more insane today. I put my window down, but uh, it's frozen. Perfect. That is a sure sign of incredible musky fishing ahead. When you can't put your power window down because it's frozen, you know they're gonna eat when it's like that. Check it out. I've made what, what could turn out to be the greatest gas station purchase in the history of mankind. Right here, these look like just regular mix, right? Battery operated. The guy at the gas station guaranteed that they would either keep my hands warm or I'd get electrocuted by them. watercolor. This is ugly. All right, so finally on the water, and I thought it was going to be tough before I launched, but uh, things a little tougher. But I have my secret weapon with me. Brian Schramm, the dude who called me and told me, you got to get down here. The fish are on fire. Schramm, fish were on fire. You've been dusting them for a week or so now. And uh, unfortunately, uh, conditions today, a little less than optimal by the looks of things. Yeah, dude, this is about as bad as it gets out here. 
I mean, it's just absolute mud, you know. Uh, wasn't supposed to be, of course, it wasn't supposed to be this bad, the wind, but weatherman's not always right, and uh, all you can do is fish, you know. I mean, we're gonna, the key is gonna be to use big baits, big profile baits, and or noisy baits, and try to get it in front of one. Like Fran said, we got dirty, dirty water. I mean, this is basically chocolate milk water we're fishing here, and two approaches, you wanna use either big, bulky bait, or I'm gonna use something with rattles. Something's gonna make noise down there. And this particular bait, talk about putting fate in your hands. We actually got this bait yesterday from a kid off the dock. That he actually makes these, hand makes these right in the area. Uh, I asked him what they're called. He says, uh, I don't know, you name it. So from this day forth, this is officially the Dunno. This water is nasty. Ironically, the water is the exact same color as the beverage I'm drinking. This thing's got to weigh two pounds. I don't think it's bad at all, to be honest. If our water, if we had good water, man, it'd just be a great day. Blue, man, like crazy last night. It wasn't supposed to blow that much. We got 0.1% uh, visibility today. So basically, every single fish in this body of water is blind, and we got to hope to drop one of these dudes right in his face. Oh, come on. There you go. Trans hooked up. Oh, well, we got something. Is that, dude, did you really catch underwear? What is that? I don't even want to. No, no, come on. Investigate. You've got to look at it. What is that? I think you caught someone's gots, dude. <laughs> you literally did. You caught the gots. All uh, right, can we get rid of it now? No, 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 this is awesome. I'll hold it up. I'm not shy. Trem caught grandpa's gots. Wow. And look, 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 look. Look what lives in grandpa's gots. Gobi gots. <laughs> it was his house, wasn't it? Dude, that's the official name for that lure now. That lure? From this day forth is the Gobi God. Oh my. We're not gonna litter. We're gonna do our part for the environment. We're gonna keep Grandpa's Gotch. Shram's gonna keep throwing the Gobi Gotch. I'm gonna throw the Dunno. And you guys are gonna keep wondering why you tuned into this show. God dang it, it's not bad at all. It's just the water. Yeah, if this water was clear. Oh, dude, it would be awesome. If it was like yesterday, it'd be fine. Sun shining through it. A couple of major reasons that jigging is perfect for a day like today is two reasons. First of all, I mean, with the water clarity as bad as it is, I mean, you need something that's basically going to knock these fish right in the nose. Uh, they're not going to be able to see a bait to chase it down a lot. And the other reason is, if you were casting a bait on such a cold, cold day like today, you get a lot of ice problems with your guides because every cast you make, you're bringing more water back through the worm gear of that reel and back through your guides. With jigging, most of the time, your bait's down there, you're not bringing a lot of water through. So these are the two reasons that really, jigging is the perfect approach for a day like today. And, I mean, who doesn't want to jig up a giant, giant ski? Probably no cooler way to catch a muskie if you ask me. I'm hoping to show you. All right, so it was supposed to be okay. The weather wasn't okay. I mean, we got snow, and now we have chocolate milk water, and uh, you know we're not batting 500. I mean, uh, you know, I mean we're having fun, Fran, but but we're just you know we're not really catching them. I mean, we could probably hang out here all day and catch Grandpa's gotch a little more, but uh, for some reason I, I don't think that's what everyone tuned in for. Uh, definitely not what Fran came here for. So uh, we're gonna do the wise thing and put it on the trailer, and we're gonna run to the other side of the lake and uh, try to hook it with some cleaner water. Take two. All right. Three hours to shoot a musky show, no big deal. Most guys wouldn't shoot a bat show in three hours, but we're gonna shoot a musky show in three hours. Don't put the batteries in my gloves. <laughs> Your gloves don't have batteries? No, my gloves. Do not have batteries. Aha, uh -huh. so you're missing out. Really? Yeah. I don't go anywhere without my likewise branded batteries. Oh my God. All of a sudden I'm more confident, but that's angler confidence. It only lasts 12, 13 minutes. 
and I'll be right back to this sucks. You know, whether you're fishing for gator kong like we are here today or perch or crappie, it doesn't matter. Whenever you're jigging, the most important thing about jigging is contact. You have to remain in contact with the bottom. And I can't stress how important it is to feel that bottom. So you're gonna see me always adjusting my line. I mean, we're, we're on a break here, but you watch that graph and it goes up and down and you have to follow that break. That bait's not on the bottom, you're not gonna be hooking up with these fish. So you wanna follow that break and you wanna use a bait heavy enough. You know, in this situation, we're using, you know, big giant click -a bomber baits and weight is not an issue. We're getting to the bottom, but if you're fishing for smaller fish with lighter weights, uh, everyone's always worried about, you know, what size do I use? What, what bait do I use? Well, you wanna use a bait that is light enough to give your bait some action, but at the same time, it's also heavy enough to remain bottom contact. Get that bait in the bottom. Be certain that your bait's on the bottom and then you know it's doing its job. Oh, sudden. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, muskies. Oh, it feels so good when it touches your skin. Our viewers are used to this. I mean, they didn't tune into this show to see a slam fest. Watch Al Linder. I mean, he always catches. <laughs> Not me. I'm like Al Linder without the ability, skills, and talent. But I got one thing Al Linder does now. What's that? Battery operated glove. Boom, take that out. I mean, these really are the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, out here, Antarctica. In here, Hawaii. Oh, the song I sing. The Merry Christmas to you. My hands are sweating, Tram, is what I'm saying. It sounded like you were trying to sing. Is that a real song? Is that a real song? Only one of the realest songs of all time. Sounds like Mary Poppins or something. No, it sounds like spectacular music <laughs> from the greatest movie of all time, Christmas Vacation. Yeah, I totally don't know what you're talking about. You seriously have never seen Christmas Vacation? I've seen bits and pieces. Are you kidding me? No. Hanakaliki Laki. See? It's catchy. You're saying it. Hanakaliki Laki is the word you sing. It means Merry Christmas to you. For the fishing trip of a lifetime, contact the rockin' fisherman Brian Schramm at Schramband at Yahoo.com. You really haven't seen Christmas Vacation? No, I don't think I have. Christmas Vacation is awesome. You're lucky. One of the greatest movies of all time. I'm gonna check it out now though. Tried to shoot a musky show. All we ended up was a membership to the Jelly of the Month Club. Oh, we're musky fishing now. The nastier, the more ridiculous, the better the musky fishing, right Tramp? Right. We're in it. We're in it. You have no idea how bad I just want to go. <laughs> Oh. Make it happen, Shrev. Try, man. Try. You lay here and act like it's not going to happen, that's when it happens. Come on, fish. Help us out. There you go. Come on, man. Come on. I told you, you just have to act like it's never going to happen. Coming straight up, too, at us. Oh, well, he's trying to stay down now. Did you see it? Oh, yeah. It's a decent one. Yeah. They are here. They live. <laughs> they do. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Come here. Please. That's a nice Get fish. In there. there you go. Nice. Woo! <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> Hold me. Hold me. <laughs> oh, no, don't moment. let him go. Don't let him go. Don't worry. This is a special <laughs> moment. Who cares? Let's look at the sun. Look at it there. Beautiful. You got a fish. <gasps> Woo! Dude! You got a bite! Yeah. There you are, you're lucky players. Yes. You caught a musky, dude. You caught a musky. We did get some musky. It's a fat one, too. You got it. Oh, man. Boy, it's been tough. 
We got one. Just keep casting all you can do, you know? Keep jigging. Whatever we can do to get them in the boat. One showed up for us, so. Nice fat belly on that one. Look at that. Dude, I mean, we came out here and it's hard enough to get a muskie any day where a lot of people will say, you know, the fish are 10,000 cats. Yeah. Literally, the odds are so stacked against this, it's ridiculous. But that's a prime example of the kind of creature that swims out here in the fall. And one day, one year, we're gonna hit it right. I tell you, man, it's gotta happen. It's got to. Let's let him go. This time of year, kind of cool. You can just let him go. Water's nice and cool. Look at that. See ya. Gonzo. What do you think? One more half drift? You got one? No. Oh. There isn't a day that I don't love my job, but it's like any job, some days are easier than others. And this was officially a tough day at the office. You gotta be kidding me. I can't believe it, but we found Clark Griswold's house right here. It's a Christmas miracle. Joy! to the world, the newborn son. Mercer and Tram fished for seven hours and 32 minutes, made 687 casts, and caught two fish. Uh, correction, actually Shram caught two fish, which by my math means Dave caught nothing. Zip, zilch, nada, the pink goose egg, absolutely, positively nothing. And that's the score. Now it's time for the facts. Mercer and Shram fished a variety of ridiculous looking musky jigging baits. The rock star of these baits turned out to be the Dano, a homemade musky jig that they actually got from another angler off the bank. These were tied onto an 8-foot G. Loomis heavy action musky rod, paired with a Shimano Calcutta D, spooled up with 80-pound Power Pro braided line. And that's the fact. Oh, 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 oh,